Welcome back. Uh, in this section, we are going to talk about uh, MIMO, uh, NLD Advanced. Uh, MIMO uh, is, uh, stands for Multiple Input, uh, Multiple Output. Uh, MIMO is a key part of LT deployments. Uh, LT standard is based on the combination of uh, MIMO multi-antenna techniques and OFDM uh, multi-carrier techniques. And uh, one of the main reasons why OFDMA was uh, actually adopted for LT um, was its um, ease of support uh, and ease of implementing uh, MIMO using OFDM because you get into these subcarriers that can these subcarriers can be multiplexed along uh, different um, transmission paths easily. So here we have the uh, transmitter and the receiver. Uh, we have signals coming in from the uh, uh, into the transmitter. We have uh, in this case four antennas at the transmitter and four antennas at the receiver. Now at every receiver, uh, due to the multipath, we will receive antennas. Uh, we will receive signals from each of the four transmitting uh, elements. So the relationship between the received and transmitted signals on different antenna paths um, is expressed as a system of linear equations. Uh, in the system, the vector of received signals is expressed as a product of the channel matrix and the transmitted signal. The transmission matrix H contains the channel impulse response uh, H N comma m where n represents the transmit antenna m represents the receive antenna um, the rank of the transmission matrix h defines the number of independent data streams that can be transmitted continuously so y is equal to h x and where h is the channel information matrix uh, this information matrix is derived uh, based on the feedback um, um, th that the UE um, either gives uh, to the E node B or it is also derived in the downlink direction by using the cell specific reference signals that the user is able to decode. Uh, MIMO in LT has been around uh, for quite some time now. So we have uh, we have transmit diversity where uh, uh, we increase the robustness of data transmission. In this case, the same data is transmitted redundantly uh, over more than one transmit antenna. This increases the signal to noise ratio at the receiver and uh, space time coding is used to generate the redundant signals. Uh, this is actually the simplest form of MIMO uh, technique which is used in LT uh, where uh, say for cell edge users or users that are uh, experiencing a very low SINAR and thus repeat, uh, reporting a low CQI. Spatial multiplexing, uh, this is used to increase the data rate. In this case, the data is divided into separate streams which are then transmitted simultaneously over the same air interface um, and resources. The transmission includes special signals called reference signals, which are known to the receiver. And this helps the RX in channel estimation. Spatial multiplexing can either be closed loop or open loop. So spatial multiplexing is where we truly start seeing MIMO, uh, where we are able to divide the data stream uh, and uh, send these data streams over different transmission paths. Uh, and we uh, we actually have two transmit modes um, in LT, TM3 and TM4. Um, TM3 is uh, the open loop and TM4 is the closed loop. Uh, the difference between is uh, between TM3 and TM4 is TM4 we use uh, uh, um, pre-coding, which is sort of like a, a crude form of beam forming you can think of uh, which even gets uh, better results as compared to tm3 further special uh, spatial multiplexing can either be single user or multi-user in a single user scenario the data, data rate is increased for a single ue when individual streams are aligned to assigned to multiple ues at the same time it is called multi-user mimo 
So if you look at uh, this picture here, this is an example of the single user MIMO in LTE, where we have the base station on one side, we have the UE on the other side. Uh, we have a two by two system. And in this case, uh, we are sending the data streams Y2 uh, transmit signals and receiving Y2. And every received signal is a combination of signals from one and two. Uh, and the channel impulse response is estimated uh, by the UE based on the cell specific reference signals and then the demodulation happens and that's how we uh, get a higher data rate for this single user. Uh, evolving this to the multi-user MIMO case where we still have uh, two transmitters at the base station but here we have one uh, receiver at each of the UEs. Here the UE receives signals from both uh, antennas however uh, the uh, the um, the data rate here is not as high uh, as uh, a single user MIMO because in, in the single user MIMO you were receiving essentially you know two dedicated streams uh, but multi-user MIMO is essential for increasing your system capacity it may not give you the best uh, peak throughput performance Multi-user MIMO is again a key part of LTE Advanced. Um, and now there is support for 8x8 MIMO um, as well in, L in LTE Advanced. So th this uh, uh, wraps up our discussion on MIMO, uh, multi-user and single-user MIMO. Hopefully now you have a decent understanding of the MIMO technologies in LTE Advanced.